All right, guys, welcome to episode 152 of Dope Talk TV. It's your truly low key guy, John, here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch, go check us out on Patreon if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, we're back with another one. It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny boy? How we feeling? How we feeling? We're feeling good, feeling good. Um, had a good holiday, you know what I mean? Uh, some people don't really celebrate that, but hey. Merry Christmas. For everybody that does celebrate, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate anything else, happy holidays to you, all right? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas over here. Yeah, it's still going on, too, in, in Puerto Rico. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, January 6th is like another day we celebrate. That's when, you know, the three wise men show up yeah. with their fucking camels. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> yeah. I remember being a kid and really thinking these camels would come in my room and eat this fucking grass. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. That, I didn't get Y'all anything. Y'all out I, there, bro. I, I, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I didn't get no presents. Never. For Three Damn. Kings Day hey, guess yeah, what Yeah There was nothing It was <laughs> just was, like yo She was smart yeah, She said none of that Yeah that Only once a year Yeah that ain't gonna happen Nah <laughs> So yeah Nah nah We we didn't celebrate that So you know it Yeah is okay. nah bro it's That right. shit it, It's a good fucking holiday To celebrate bro Like I love the, the Three Kings Day man Like all my Boricuas out there Round of applause to you If y'all still celebrating I didn't get drunk for me I didn't get drunk like that I mean I had a couple shots You know what I mean But like I don't know It's nah, just like same. I was just like It's just not even that fun no more You know I kind of like I get buzzed I get buzzed When I'm buzzed I Then I, I'm good Yeah bro It's different man Like I didn't I didn't drink much at all man Like I just chilled You know what I'm saying I chilled I fucking kicked it bro And that was about it man Like I didn't really do too much bro Like It was good New Year's But yeah good you know years. Good thing for that You know The Puerto Rican dude you were telling me about uh what? The, nah, he's the like Cuban or some shit. I thought he was Puerto Rican. Nah, nah. Oh wow. He's like Cuban. I don't know is that, but regardless of what he is, good for him, man. Round of applause to him. He got his sentence reduced from 110 years to 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm, means that he'll be home in like he'll be home in like five years. Max. Yeah, like I mean, which ain't ain't crazy, but at the same time, like some people are like, bro, he should get no time and. I kind of agree with that, but at the same time, there were a lot of lives lost, bro. It was more yeah. than like it was like four people, four or five people that yeah. lost a life. So he, yeah, you, somebody got to be held accountable for something. Yeah, you you, you, you know had like, like four bodies at once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like five years, you know what I'm saying? He'll be home. Good behavior. Good for him though. You know what I'm saying? Good for him. Like I don't think that he deserved life in prison. That's the power you know of the mean? people. Yeah, we, people fast. forget that we have the power. It's not them. If we wouldn't have said anything and we didn't care and society didn't care, bro, that guy would be having 100 years. Yeah, no. There's a lot of guys that are just like him sitting in jail mad right now. Like, yo, this fucking guy. Like, I have the same charge. So that's, the same thing happened to me. That's the, that's the, that's the power of social media, guys, yeah, that we live in. Like, literally everybody found out about, uh, found out about this guy in Colorado. And no one fucking, like, in, in like two days. Yeah, like, like it Kim was just Kardashian like Kardashian got a hold of it. Like it got <laughs> spread so much. Like yeah, it was like yo, we're gonna like, get wow. the best lawyers, and that's what the fuck is gonna happen. Now nah, listen again. Round of applause to them. Round of applause to the team. Round of applause to everybody that raised awareness. I understand the family members that you know. What I'm saying hear stuff like this, they're probably really upset, bro. You know when they hear it, or they're like, oh fuck this guy, he should be in jail forever, whatever. But nah, bro. That's anger speaking, and it's you're you're directly affected by a, a tragic situation. But in hindsight, like it's a fucking tragic accident, bro. Yeah, like his, his brakes went out. What what are you gonna do about? It? Like what what could you do? What you can you do, Besides man? Besides, try to keep control like he did. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's just that's it's an unfortunate event. Whatever you know what I mean. It sucks, but hey. You know, good for him. He got 10 fucking years. You know what I mean? Hey, Instead you're of not, 100. You're not going to die. That, you, he would have died in prison. You would have. Sure. Yeah. You know, I would have been happy, to yeah. be honest with you. I would have been all right with that. But uh, with him dying in prison? No, nah, not him dying in prison. But like, you know, if it happened to me and they're like, yo, you're getting 100 years. And then they, you know, they just say, hey, man, take away a zero. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got 10. I'd be yeah. like, damn. You know what? I'm still a little bit upset, but. Nah, you're fucking praising God. Yeah. You're praising God. <laughs> You're telling, like, yo, you're telling your whole family your plans when you come out. Cause five, I'm telling you, bro, ten years, ten years ain't a lot when it comes to prison time. He might have to do like six of those. You know, with good time, he'll be out in like five. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, he'll be he'll be out in five. But regardless, man, like that's a blessing compared to 110. Yeah, that's crazy. Let me ask you something though. What up, yo? So, 
you know, Valentine's is coming up and shit like that. Um, and we're talking about the, the power of social media and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when you're in a relationship, like I, I seen somebody talk about this, you know, and it's true. They're like, yo, like you shouldn't really post somebody, you know, the Valentine's Day, you know, the Valentine's Day fucking pictures. You shouldn't really post them because like, unless you know it's for sure. Because if you're not once, once, once fucking Thanksgiving and Christmas and, 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 and October and all these fucking holidays come in and they're not in the picture no more. It's going to look kind of rough on you. You yeah, know what I mean? It gets rough down the road, bro. It gets rough down the road. But besides that, like, I feel like you, you shouldn't be posting your every move anyway, bro. Yeah. Like, days like that, like, I swear, bro, people just want to take the pictures to show out to, like, they might be low-key being spiteful to their ex through the picture. Like, look what you missing out on. Like, bro, just do what you do. Show your love. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's just it's like I don't know. I don't, don't know post when, like, it, don't post it unless because I've actually gone through it personally. Yeah. If you're not for sure, bro, and it's not for real like, yeah, don't. And at the you know I mean? yeah, at the end of the day like who cares what, what anybody else says? You know what I mean? Like That's who cares? Fact. Like if I post somebody with suit like I'm with Susan in March and then, you know, by fucking December I'm with fucking, you know, Stephanie. Right. Yeah, who cares? That's who cares? Life. Like this is my life. If I have a whole bunch of girlfriends, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter, you know? But <laughs> At the end of the day, though, this like... This guy, bro, in his mind, his dick hangs down to his kneecap, bro. His kneecap and his dick tip be making out type shit. Nah, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but... I don't know. It was crazy, man. It was crazy, bro. I don't know. I, I think it's true. I think it's true, man. Like, I... I feel like you should just, you know, keep it away from fucking social media unless, you, yeah. you know, you're gonna marry this chick and it's for sure because... That's just what it is. Like, you got to protect your energy. You know, when people see fucking pictures on social media and they're lonely and shit, they ain't, you know what I mean? They ain't really wishing the best on you. A lot of people really ain't. Listen, man, and you that's know? why I, I always go back to the thing. And it's like social media ain't real life. What goes on in real life, like, there's so much shit, nigga, 98% of the shit that goes on in real life ain't being posted on social media. You just <laughs> see the nice place, the nice plate, the nice shoes, and the nice f view. That's what you see. Yeah. You didn't see the argument that went on 20 minutes before. You didn't see the fucking crying that nigga did the night. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's like, real life is real life, bro. So, I feel like it's up to you, man. There's people out there that like, where they're you like, know? yeah, like they're just posting and, and they, they, they seem happy and they see, oh my God, they look so freaking happy. But then miserable, like, yeah. miserable fucks. But then she over here giving sloppy toppy to fucking Tommy over here behind the scenes. That's a fact. You see what I'm that's saying? That's a fact. But y'all like, happy. Listen, man. Come that, on. That, that shit's played out, man. Like, just, I don't know. Me personally, the way I move, bro, I don't post shit. Like, you will never find anything out through my motherfucking, like, you just won't. Because it's like, yeah. that's not for you to know. And you know what else I learned? If, I, if you're my, if you're, yeah. if you're close enough to me, you'll find out. If you're close enough to me, you'll, you'll yeah, meet you'll the know. person. I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? You'll meet the yeah. person. I'll tell you what's going on, whatever. But besides that, like, you don't need to fucking know anything. Like, it's not your business. Yeah. Just like what goes on in your private life ain't my business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. It, like, people get a little too carried away with that social media shit, bro. Yeah. Sure and it's just like, bro, like, no one needs to know your business. That's that's just like the most important thing. Like yeah, keep like keep bro. your there's a there's like a fine line from stuff you can post and then there's like stuff you don't really you shouldn't really post. You know what I mean? But you learn that throughout time and growing up and shit like that and Yeah, and then like yeah. bro, we've talked about it on here a hundred times, man. Like social media, like most of it is just a facade. It's not really the person or their lifestyle. It's the lifestyle they wanna live or the lifestyle they wanna make people think they live or like, most of that shit be bullshit, bro. Most of that shit be cap. I'm talking about niggas with millions of followers and blue checks. Niggas are broke. Yeah. Like, it's like, bro, like, don't let none of that facade fool you, bro. Real life is real fucking life. What goes on in real life, bro, behind these cameras, behind the YouTube, behind the Patreon, behind all this other shit is real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't take everything off face value when it comes to social media. And that's all I'm going to say. Straight the fuck up. Yeah. But fuck, man. Going back to this quarantine again. Yeah, bro. I just found out my mama got COVID today. So, uh, and it's her birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my dukes. But that's sad, man. It's yeah, fucked. big fucking, 50. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have to go right back to quarantine, dog. Yeah. Right back to quarantine. Like, 
pretty soon. Like it's gonna get there, bro. There's like everybody got got you know sick again, and it's like it, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy to even think about. It's like <coughs> I told motherfuckers, I told people from the first year, I was like, bro, it's gonna last like three or five years, probably. Yeah, nobody believe, like we could probably find the audio somewhere <laughs> in yeah. the podcast. Nah, no, we've yeah, been we doing s- that long enough. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, like I was like, bro, it's gonna last a long time. It's gonna last a lot longer than what people think it is. And this next year, I feel like it's gonna be another lockdown. It's gonna be another fucking shortage of toilet paper or something. They're gonna make it political again, again, again. You know what I mean? And it's like, bro, like we should just have a choice. Like I just find it really, really funny that like the people that are getting it and spreading it are the people that are getting injected with it. Yeah, and people that get paid to to. Talk about it and tell you to go get vaccinated. And like, like people yeah. think that there's no money behind this. Like, bro, there's people that literally get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, to promote this, and they probably don't even have it. I'm yeah. serious. There's platforms out here that are probably getting funded just to do a vaccination commercial or just to do a certain like, trust, bro. It's all money. It's all. And then they're pressure, the- and then people are like getting pressured into doing it. Like I, like I remember my family members just like the other day, like, ah, just do it. Come on, just come to my job, get vaccinated. Like, and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. And they're like, nah, we're fine. You're good. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but y'all don't really know what's good. You know, they really what they really nah, you know like put in you, there. I feel like, like if you don't really need it, you don't need it. Like, like I understand. Like I've said it before. I understand the older people with with, with symptoms that they already have and stuff like that. Like there's. There's reasons for you to want to go get this. You know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, like making people do it, like, bro, I don't want that in my body. I've been feeling A-OK. Yeah, I've been feeling really fine. And I've been and the, everywhere. You know God forbid, everywhere. God forbid anything happens, knock on wood, because you never know. But bro. it's like, this far, this far, I've been OK. Yo, when you know I, what I'm saying? <laughs> when, like, when I mean I've been everywhere, guys, bro, i literally been everywhere. I haven't been home. I, I, you know, like I sound like a little bit of an asshole or whatever, but I'm okay. Like if I was like sick, you know, sick, sick, I would stay home. But I, that's, I haven't been sick right. at all. Like not even like a little sniffle here. Like the most I've ever had was diarrhea. Yeah, I got my stomach fucked up, but yeah, I, thought, I like, think that was from like some wings or something. Yeah, from like different. food and people like stuff yeah. I put in my body. You know yeah, what I that mean? Was different. Like, but now, nah, bro, like. I got sick. Ever since all this bullshit started, I got sick one time, and I've talked about it. Like, I got sick one time, bro, and it wasn't nothing serious. Literally, in two years, I gotten sick one time. Nothing serious, bro. Regular shit. Just drank some water, drank some orange juice, took some extra vitamins. Literally. That's it. And then a day and a half later, felt 100% A-OK. Like, it, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But... It, it's just it's sad, man. It's sad to think about that we're gonna have to go back to another lockdown, bro. It's, that'd be trash. That'd be trash. But getting us off that trash shit, man. I wanna, I wanna give a big shout out, round of applause. You know I think this is to gonna survivor. be survivor. This, this is this is forever survivor. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to survivor. You know what I'm saying? The the creators of Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, that song, bro. It's just something about that song, man. I I promise, if we weren't because we get in trouble, I'd play it right now. That song gets you ready for anything, bro. Yeah, you ready to go fight? Put on Eye of the Tiger. Eye you ready? of the Tiger. You, you ready to go out for the night? Yeah, I'm ready put to go. On, uh, put yeah. on Eye of the Tiger. Nah, you ready to freaking go fight a fucking bear? You bro, ready? You, you ready to go freaking you know <laughs> bang a bitch? You ready to fucking? You ready to go fucking fly a motorcycle into a tree? <laughs> yo, you ready to fucking go fucking do something crazy? <laughs> Then you look you, evil shit. Eye of the you, tiger, bro. Eye of the tiger, bro. You want to go run up these? Every time I see a fucking like pair of steps, I just want to. You know, I just want to dun, 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 dun. You know, so like that song is pretty legendary. Nah, that yeah. song is a is listen. It's a masterpiece, bro. I was listening to it the other day on repeat, and I was like, bro, I literally want to like get in a boxing right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yo, where's my guy? Like, yeah, what's up, bro? Let me what? break out of the leg. Yo, listen. Uh, what's that, Paul Kid? Fuck yeah. out of here Yeah man You know shout out to him Because Jesus bro You nah, could Hey you could, listen Round of applause to that guy Power bro, y- You could literally 
he you could knock this nigga out. It's not even that. I think that shit all fake. No, nah, no, nah, that but, was not. But the thing, fake. but yeah, I mean, it was literally him giving him a signal. There's a whole video of him, like, anyways. But this guy's just good fucking marketing. This guy's a good promoter. This guy knows how to make people mad and get under their skin. He's kind of like another six nine. Nah, bro, they you started know? on YouTube. They're, yeah. they're they're great at what they do, bro. Exactly. They're great at marketing their shit. They know what gets people to watch. They've been doing it for years. They've made millions of dollars. But nah, in all reality. That fight, I don't think it was fake, man. No, I think I, I'm serious. I yeah. think this nigga could actually punch something. Hey, he man, just got, he just got to train more. Like yeah. that ass, like he's in. They're athletes, bro. Like you could tell. Like him and his brother, are actual like they, they're athletes, bro. You just, it's like anything else. It's like when Michael Jordan had to retrain his body when he started playing baseball. Yeah, you have to retrain muscle muscle groups and different workouts and shit like that because it's a different sport. Yeah, but them niggas, I'm telling you, bro. Watch, don't uh, don't. Don't be surprised if he ends up fighting like Mayweather or something. I'm not playing with you. Yeah. Because they're going to bring... It brings the views. It brings the money. If it makes sense, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, like I think, money, that, I think that... Money Mayweather is, uh, is money, bro. Yeah, I it's think, all I, about money. Yeah, I think it's just all about the money. I, me, personally, I think it's fake. I think boxing is not real anymore. I think um, boxing has always been fake, though. You know like what I mean? controls Yeah, shit. like I, I don't think it's real. I think that, that, that fight that just happened with Logan, like I think it was fake. You know, I was watching some videos and how people were like pointing out certain things. Like, yeah, like I, I really feel like it's all about the money now. So that's just what it is. And it's okay. Get your money. You're good at getting money. Yeah. There's nah, people in this nigga, world that are good at getting money. It's a game. That's what boxing has always been about. I'm yeah. telling you, bro. Like in the 70s and 80s, the mob was running the boxing fights and they were making sure niggas would win and they were staging fights and they were doing yeah. shit because it's mob shit. It's money. It, nigga, there's millions of dollars behind these bets and shit. Yep. We're going to make sure this nigga wins. <laughs> You yeah, see so what I'm saying it's it's always been set let up. Us, let us know. Let us know if you guys think that 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 fight was fake or not. Whatever. Me personally, I think it's fucking fake. Um, but yeah, go ahead, leave a little comment. You know what I mean? But you know, this guy's good at making money, bro. Him and his brother, just like how you said, like it's a game. Good you for think them. He can beat you up? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Like maybe this guy could fight. Man, okay, you might, I think you slumped my. I think you slumped that nigga. Bro. I don't know. Don't I don't, talk, don't. I'm not a shit. Don't I'm not, I'm not gonna like sit that. here and be a shit talker. Like I'll, I'll I might have to whoop your fucking ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, hey, Jake Paul, and you know what I'm going on, bro? Yo, Set bro. this shit up. Two milli. What's yeah, up? Yeah, bro. I love to have you on the show, bro. I might fight you right here and there. You hey, know, bro, we'll flip this whole fucking room. In this bitch. <laughs> Beating this nigga up Nah bro I think like When you get to a certain level Of like having money You can't fight random people Because you get sued I wouldn't ne- Bro listen The boss never clenches his fist Yeah he, Once you got enough bread It's like you laugh at that shit It's like bro I could literally have you Fucking stuffed in the trunk right now Yeah You don't even know like, What the fuck you're talking about Like Yeah that's like You know Just like 48 laws of fucking power You know what I'm saying Of life Like you cannot really get mad bro Like you can't Like if you're in a certain level more, Like most bosses They just fucking Just sit back and relax and they have someone else fucking handle it. Yeah, there's listen, bro. <laughs> that's exactly like it's just, bro. It's different, man. Like when you get to a certain level of money and stature, bro. There's no point. There's literally no point. It's gonna hurt you more than help you. You know what I'm saying? Like you just ignore that shit. Yeah. Because most don't. niggas that are out there making money, bro, they're not trust, bro. That drama shit ain't on their agenda. Like them niggas are busy. They're too busy to hear what the fuck you even talking about. There's like, no <laughs> like I can't I can't even fucking comprehend that level of disrespect. <laughs> I like, can't even comprehend this it. This guy's cute, huh? He fucking thinks he can walk in here and do something. I can't even comprehend that level of disrespect that's coming in my ear right now. Yeah, it makes no sense to me. You so know what I mean? You could escort yourself out of my fucking premises. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what, Tommy? Go ahead and grab him and, uh, you know. Stuff him in the fucking trunk. Yeah, like seriously. Do like, what bro, you gotta do. There's other people that are crazier than you that will handle the business. No problem. No fucking problem, bro. Nah, that's yeah, a man. fact, man. That's a fact. But bro. talking about respect. Yeah, bro. Uh, listen, man. My little New Year's resolution is, bro, no more disrespect, man. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of showing respect to people that don't show up back. So it's cutoff season, nigga. Oh, shit. Nah, that ass. No cap. There's yeah. been a few he people. He sounds like I, me. He sounds like nah, me. I'm serious. Like, it, it, it's over with. It's over with for that <clears throat> shit, bro. It's I'm real quick. That shit. Yeah, bro. People fucking tell me I'm nuts, bro. Bro, I don't nah, care how, bro, I don't care how fuck long you, we've been you know friends. What it is? I'm willing we, to. We've talked about it before, bro. It's always the one time you say no. Like, I never disrespect nobody. I never, you know what I'm saying? I'm always punctual. I do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? I really show respect to people. Yeah. So when that disrespect is shown, it's like, bro, don't even worry about it. You just never hear from me again. Don't, dead ass. 
You'll never fucking hear from me again. Cut off season. There ain't no fighting. We too old to be fighting. We too old to be beefing and running into each other at Walmart and yelling at each other. You'll just never in your fucking life, bro, have access to me again. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. There's no yeah. more. Yeah, bro. A lot of people know that <laughs> know about that when it comes to me. You know, and I had conversation with friends and they're just like, yo, like, and I'm not perfect. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm acting no, like we like, all got flaws, bro. Like, like you know what flaws. I mean? But like you really just gotta like find them flaws and be like, yo, like I need to I need to just chill. But anyways, like back to the back to that is like, yeah, I've cut people off. Like n- not talk to them ever again. I'm talking about friends, and I have fr- I had a homie tell me he's like, yo, bro, damn, I need to start being like that. You know, because they have such a big heart, and I have a big heart. You know, but then you realize, like, yo, people just take advantage no, of that. You get tired of that shit, bro. You get tired of that shit. Like, people treat you how you let them treat you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, anything becomes a culture. You let somebody, you let somebody keep treating you a certain way, they're gonna think it's okay to keep treating you like that. So it's like, nah, bro. You like, you got nip shit in the butt, bro. Like, at the end of the day, bro. And this year, guys, don't take no disrespect from fucking nobody. As soon as you feel it, like you know when you're when you're being disrespected, and you know like, you, you know yeah. when you're and when you know yeah. when it's like on purpose or when it's like you know what I'm saying like you could just you just know when somebody really don't give a fuck and they really have no respect. And so you, it's like, bro, yeah. fuck it. Like don't don't wait around for them to show you more disrespect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just. Fuck them. And you know you, you and you know you made a good decision when your life starts getting better when you're you know without that person. Peace of mind, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not even is, that. Like literally, mind, things bro. start getting better. Yeah, like yeah, literally, you, you get peace of mind. Your shit starts fucking yeah. growing. You're able to focus on other shit besides fucking this guy. Oh, he pissed me off. He did yeah. this to me. He felt he had me feeling this way. You got other shit to worry about now. Yeah. That shit is no longer even in your fucking. Mine. You got extra like, money in your pocket. You got extra. You got extra weed in your yeah, fucking bro, in, in like, your jar. Because, I don't gotta smoke with niggas. Yeah. I don't gotta fucking come around and be acting all fucking this and that. Like, bro, it's okay, bro. Like, bro, like, I don't care how old you are. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, when you get to a certain age, like, and you start getting your own money, we shouldn't be matching. We shouldn't be matching up on a blunt. You should have enough money to have your own yeah, fucking full blunt. Smoke shit if you don't face, have, bro. if you don't have a full fucking blunt, then you shouldn't be fucking smoking and yeah, matching with nobody. If you can't fucking smoke a blunt to the face and afford it, you shouldn't you be should, smoking at all. You shouldn't. Straight the fuck. I swear up. to God, you were the first person to fucking uh, let me smoke my own blunt to the face. Yeah, I remember I was, I was, like, nah, I was walking with you and uh, what is it, JT? Mm-hmm. And we were walking down the fucking sidewalk And we were like yeah we just picked up some bud and shit And like y'all looked at me like yo Like like you never smoked a blunt to the face I remember you guys were like yeah I'm gonna smoke this to the face I was like damn bro like I don't even smoke that much And you were just like bro nah you're gonna smoke your own yeah, blunt Yeah I was like nah nigga You can clip yeah. it <laughs> Yeah fast I was like, like if you don't wanna smoke no more put it out And save it for later but you're gonna smoke your own bro And it's been like that Yeah. Like, I remember when, when we used to go out you know what I'm saying Like the squad days and shit You, you used to come around and shit yeah. like the day I stopped smoking with niggas, bro, no lie, no lie, bro, my weed consumption went down like by three, three times, no cap. Like, yeah, I was spending three times the amount a month I would have spent on myself just because I'm off. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Yo, bro, hit this. Yo, pass it to him. Yo, yeah. we're going to. Yo, it goes to them. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Fuck all that. If now it's some- I show up, bro, and niggas be like, "Yo, bro, let me hit." Nah, it, yeah, bro. Don't. And, and, and to be <laughs> nah. honest, and to be honest, like. I was I would pick and choose on who can hit my fucking blunt. Yeah, fact. There's like, times, like, yeah, for real. there's times, nigga. You see it in niggas' faces where it's like I'll only pass it. Like for example, me and John will be out. I'll only pass it to John. Yeah, and then and you'll people, pass it right and, back, and niggas are standing uh, around looking uh, like, no, nah, uh, we know, no, nah, we yeah, know, and it, yeah, like, like I don't even gotta tell him, and he don't gotta tell me. Like when he passes me that shit, it's going right back to him. Yeah, you know what like I'm I don't it's even like, I don't even ask. And and the thing is, is like. If there's people, it's people that deserve to hit that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like people that earn that, earn that spot, bro. Not everybody should be able to fucking hit your blunt. Yeah, or drink your bottle, or dig in your pocket. Yeah, that's like, li- that, at the end of the day, that's what's going on. And people that don't smoke, and people that don't drink, y'all don't really understand. You know what I mean? Y'all just like whatever. But you got to get the message. We're trying to get a point across yeah, that, like it, if it's like it could happen with anything. It could be with food. It could be like yo, you like you got that 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 friend that like always goes out broke when you go out to eat. Yeah, it's like nigga, you know we're going to spend money. Bring at least twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's literally it can happen with anything. It's like it's the point. It's the same thing. It's, it's a principle. It's the principle of the matter, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you didn't have enough for that for that plate of food, at least you brought ten. Yeah, out of the facts, twenty, like, you know, we'll use that for a tip. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Facts. Like, 
I don't know. Like, I'm the type of person that always thinks about others, too. Yeah, before for myself. Real. And that's a toxic trait that I have because, like, you know, like, sometimes I always put other people in front of me. Yeah, it's a, bro. You know, listen, and, I, and you have to cut that out. It's the biggest hearted people, bro, that always get done the worst. For real. And then when the big hearted person finally says, bro, enough is enough, then they're the bad then, then guy. Then you're bro. a bad guy. Yeah. And you're a fucking asshole. And yeah. you're fucking this. And you're that. Well, fuck it. I'll be that, bro. I yeah. don't, none of y'all niggas ever paid my bills. Yeah. None and, and of y'all niggas really- ever paid my bills. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like, who gives a fuck? Going back to what you said earlier, who cares, bro? Like what people say, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it is what it is, bro. Live your life. Keep peace around you and keep happiness around you, bro. And if, if something brings you, you know what I'm saying? Like a negative vibe or anything like that, bro. Don't stick around. Don't don't stick around, bro. Like, and don't take no disrespect. Going back to the main fucking point. Yeah, so. take no disrespect, man. Twenty twenty two, man. Have some worth. Have some self worth for yourself, man. Find you know, find yourself king and find yourself queen. Because there's kings and queens Facts. out here. Like you got to find yourself out here in this world, man. Facts. Spend some time by yourself. Nah, for real. That's the you main know? thing, bro. Spend time alone and get to know yourself, like. There's some people, bro, that are out there in life, bro, and they've been with somebody for so long, they literally forgot how to be alone. Yeah. It's like, bro, being alone is so important. Yeah. Like, to me, even if you're in a relationship, there should be, like, one day out of the week, bro, where, like, y'all should each take a day for yourself. Like, you go to the spa. If you're the woman, go to the spa, get your hair and get your... Whatever you like to do to relax, you do that. Yeah. The man, yo, go to fucking in your man cave, do whatever. Whatever it is you like to do, bro. But it's like, you need alone time, bro. Like, that shit's essential. Like, you need people too. But there's also such thing as, like, being overwhelmed and being overdrained by other people's energy. Like, some people just suck the energy out of you, bro. And it's like, damn, nigga, I got to be by myself for, like, 12 hours. Yeah, <laughs> not not everybody deserves that energy, man. That's that's going that's back facts. to that. It's like, yo, like not everybody deserves to be around you. Not everybody deserves to be around that positivity. You know what I mean? Like talk. nobody deserves that. You know what I mean? Like unless they do and, and they're around, they support you and, 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 and you know, they give off that vibe back. Like I shouldn't be around you and you drain my energy. Yeah, for real. We bro. should be charging facts. each other. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like we should literally be at, you know, if you're at 50% battery and I'm at 50%, we should charge each other and make us to 100. If you ain't around those type of people, then that you need to really back off and love people from a distance. Yeah, bro. And when I mean That's- cut off, it's not like you don't have to cut them off and be like, yo, fuck them, you know, forever. Because they may not be a, a bad person. They may not be doing it intentionally. You still love them. But you just kind of just like love them from a distance. Yeah, but That's sometimes it. you just got to say fuck them and, straight up. Oh, and there's people that I've cut off that deserve that. Yeah. But and then there's some people that, you know, you don't really have to cut them off 100%, but just, you no, know, no, back off, not, that's back not off a little. Off. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not what just, I mean. Cut yeah. off. What I mean cutting off is like, nigga. Yeah, exactly. You won't have access to my phone. Yep. You won't have access to anything that I'm fucking doing. Yep. And you won't hear from me personally. Exactly. Everything you'll hear and see will be through third party. Somebody else telling you something about what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> you're gonna see me you know on saying? YouTube, like, and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hear from me from other people. Yeah, and if you don't, <laughs> if you don't, cool, bro. I really don't give a fuck, and that's yeah. the whole point of me cutting you off, like to show you, like, bro, like you overplayed your hand, nigga, and you really thought you were more special than you fucking are. Yeah, don't straight have, up. Don't ever think that I need you. That's that's that's, probably, facts, that's one bro. of that's one of that's the biggest facts. things that you know I heard is like don't don't ever think that I need you because at the end of the day we were here and brought by ourselves you know we that's were brought facts. by our family Listen, and that's man, all we have we're born alone yeah. and caskets don't have bunk beds <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're and, going by your fucking self and it sounds so all rough, that yeah. bullshit all that extra shit is like it's cool bro but it's like the people that love you bro will show you I've always said it all, I always will say it. Actions. actions speak louder than fucking words I don't yeah. give a fuck what's mumbling out your mouth. Show me. Yeah. Show me. Yeah. Show me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's it. Like it's it ain't it doesn't have to be said. You know what I'm saying? It's like if yeah. you show me, bro, it's like respect, nigga, love. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? But even that's too much for some people. And it's like it's okay. That goes back to the disrespect. And it's like it's okay, bro. Like don't have negative people around you. Don't have people, you know, that drain your energy, like we just said. But listen, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Go check us out on Patreon. Yo, we're about to do a giveaway. We're almost at a thousand, bro. We're almost at a thousand, guys. You got to, yo, we love you so much, man. We appreciate you guys for really following on IG, man. That shit means a lot to us. 
It cut out for me, but I still love you guys. Harry's going to hey, keep the audio. Audio is in here, though. We love you. We, we love appreciate you. you. Keep supporting. We support back. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Peace and love.